All right, today we're gonna to be installing a Skins Next Level vented windshield bag and an RSI twin USB power port on a 2018 Polaris Axis. To start off, you're gonna to wanna to pull both side panels off to access the quick releases for the hood. Now that both of those are off, we're gonna to wanna to get the hood off. All right, you have one quick release here. And then there's another quick release on the other side. Also, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you have the plug disconnected in here. I've already done that. From there, should just lift up, make sure she's unplugged, and pull it off. All right, so here we have the RSI twin USB power port and the hood of an Axis 800. So, when you're looking for the plug for the RSI, it is right there. Now, if you can make it out on this camera or not, or if it's too dark, the plug is right up here by your headlights. So essentially, you just plug those two together and you're good to go. It's just like any other 12 volt plug for like a motorcycle or whatever. And uh, when you're taking this off, try not to beat these up too bad because you actually will reuse these for the skins. Pull that out like that. Look at that! <laughs> you gotta be smarter than what you're working with, I guess. Do that again. There we go. that and then I'm just going to double-sided tape that little box right to here backwards again backwards man backwards man like mark backwards fast as you can you know what movie that's from comment down below be, uh, I'd be surprised. The only movie not a lot of ton of people remember it anymore. But it was good. If you remember it, you should go watch it again. Just because it's awesome. Alright. That's all taken care of. So now comes another sad part. We're gonna have to cut open the next level bag. Alright. So essentially, we're gonna need to cut a little, a couple of these threads up here so we can feed those USB ports right in the back side of here. And then we'll super glue those back together or possibly stitch them, but put them into there and then we have our charging setup all self-contained. Let's get started. And there we go. We got USB ports into a windshield bag. Hopefully, I can now just toss my phone and a GoPro charger and some other stuff in there and call it a day. Cool. Let's finish this up. Alright. Last one. Go through that hole. Go to your home. Go to your home, why don't you? Talk about that timing. Got it at the last butt. All right. I took little tiny pieces of double-sided tape and actually stuck them to those flaps. So that way I could get them lined up where they needed to be and that way I could just kind of work on this trim piece on its own. Cause that was, that was the real pain. So, 
Now, before we drill down those two flaps, we are going to do one more test. It works. So all we've got left now are these two fasteners right here and another one right here. They take uh, 15, 30 second, I believe. Let me double check that. If it's wrong, I'll put something down below. If it's not, well, we're good to go. But I'm gonna grab that drill bit. We're gonna drill these two holes. Let's get this wrapped up. Let's turn it out good. And I will make a mark in each spot where I wanna drill. harder now when you go through, but we're good. So, now, we're going to take these fasteners that lovely skin supplied us with. There's two. Well, there we have it. It's done. And I gotta be honest, I am pumped with the way this turned out. I've got more than enough room for everything I need, two charging ports, and it's in a heated bag. In fact, the room, I need to really touch on that point again, because let's take a look. I've got the two charging ports in there. I've got room for my multi-tool, a saw, my phone. I actually gotta dig around to find stuff too. A dual charging port for the GoPro. Getting down in there. A power bank. And the controller for my Mavic Pro. More than enough room. And I could still fit my wallet and a few more things in there if I wanted to. It's, I mean, it might get a little cramped at that point, but still, I mean, that's, I haven't even touched the tunnel bay yet. So I'm beyond impressed with the amount of storage, the fitment, and I mean, I had to do a little bit of custom work, but the fact that I'm able to have my USB ports directly into my windshield bag, that's big for me. Like I said, I mean, you gotta undo that stitching. I'd recommend either super gluing it or if you're good with needle and thread, maybe restitching around it. But beyond that, it's all tucked away. I don't gotta worry about anything. So, if you're looking for a storage solution and I can offer any type of opinion, I like this setup. I'm sure there's lots of other setups that are just as good or better. This is what I know and this is what I got. So I hope this helped. If you're looking for an install, I hope I kind of guided you a little bit in the right way on what you're doing or helped you find what you need to. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the upcoming season, guys.